This is part of the $308.8 million more dollars that this government has provided since taking office in 07. The Saskatchewan Assured Income for Disability, or SED program, will receive an increase of $17.8 million so that up to 10,000 adults with disabilities will have an improved quality of life through access to this program. Many people have shared with me how this program has improved the dignity and quality of life for their loved ones. Mr. Speaker, last fall, if I heard it once, I heard it a thousand times, the people of Northcote want a safer community. Well, Mr. Speaker, we have the Community Mobilization Partnership, the first of its kind in Canada. This innovative, multi-agency partnership of community agencies, schools, health care and social service agencies, First Nations workers and police, is creating a new way to make our community safer. This community mobilization partnership is getting at the root causes of crime and helping to prevent so many young people from going down that dangerous path. It is helping our youth to be part of the thriving, safe community we all so much want. Our Saskatchewan Party government's 2011 election platform committed to supporting the expansion of this community mobilization partnership. Last week, Mr. Speaker, on Wednesday, our Saskatchewan Advantage budget fulfilled this commitment of $450,000. To advance the commitment to improving safety and security in Saskatchewan's secure correctional facilities, this budget provides funding for a number of capital construction projects. $24 million over three years to build a two-story, 72-cell secure living unit on the grounds of the Prince Albert Provincial Correctional Centre. $9.6 million to complete the construction of a 30-cell living unit addition to the Pine Grove Correctional Centre for Women. The Pine Grove Women's Correctional Centre is the only women's correctional centre in the province and is located in my constituency of Prince Albert Northcote. Earlier this spring, I toured both of these facilities. I am very impressed at the progress on the Pine Grove expansion and how effectively the space is used in both facilities. This government is delivering on its commitment to improve quality of life in Saskatchewan through significant increases in programs and services for the province's most vulnerable people. Making life more affordable is another goal that this Saskatchewan Advantage budget addresses. With the tax changes from past budgets that the Saskatchewan Party government delivered, a family of four with 50000 in annual income pays less than a quarter of the taxes that the NDP charged them. This means that family of four now has a tax savings of $2,638 each year. Childcare spaces in Saskatchewan will increase in this next term of office. There are $46 million for childcare operating, which includes a $2 million increase a $4 million child care capital to create 500 new child care spaces. 300 of these spaces will be located in schools or post-secondary institutions. We are committed to making life more affordable for low-income seniors. To help seniors keep pace with the cost of living, this budget provides $3.3 million 24.2 million in total to increase the senior income plan for singles and couples. Let's compare the first four years of Saskatchewan Party government to the last 16 years of NDP. The seniors income plan benefit was doubled in our first term of office. In 16 years under the NDP, there was no change to the $90 per month seniors received. In 2012, under the Saskatchewan Party government, the senior income plan benefit will increase to $240 per month. 
that's $2,880 per year. It will triple by the end of this term to $270 per month compared to the $90 per month the NDP provided to seniors. In a growing economy and with the largest increase in population since 1956, there are 65,000 more people now than in 06, rental housing continues to be in demand. The Saskatchewan Party recognizes this need and introduced the Saskatchewan Advantage Housing Plan in the 2011-12 budget. This budget supports that plan with a further $3.7 million for the rental construction incent incentive and affordable home ownership programs. With these programs and other initiatives, the province could add up to 10,000 rentals to the market, 2,200 new entry-level homes and 650 student residences. To help people with the cost of a new home, this Saskatchewan Advantage budget is introducing the first-time home buyers tax credit, which will provide up to $1,100 in non-refundable tax credits. In addition, the Saskatchewan Housing Corporation will provide $1 million to Habitat for Humanity to help an additional 20 low-income families achieve home ownership. Mr. Speaker, this Saskatchewan Advantage budget continues to deliver responsive and responsible government at a time when many governments elsewhere are being forced to slash programs and funding, our government has worked hard to ensure this does not happen. Last year, our province earned, for the first time ever, a triple-A credit rating. This year, we see Saskatchewan's debt-to-GDP ratio steadily improving. Financial decisions were scrutinized to ensure they did not increase government debt. Overall spending will be $11.2 billion, virtually identical to the spending level we promised in the election campaign. Our government has delivered a balanced budget. Saskatchewan is the first province to table a balanced budget this year. It is balanced in the General Revenue Fund. It is balanced in the summary financial statements. Plus, the Growth and Financial Security Fund will maintain a balance of $756 million. All of these factors show how this budget is all about keeping the Saskatchewan advantage, keeping our election promises, keeping our balance, bu budget balance, keeping our spending sustainable, and keeping our economy strong. Mr. Speaker, it is my pleasure and privilege to support this budget. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.